All right, so here we're on a little update. New trailer, plan on doing some work to it. It's a 24 foot overall, 20 flat, four foot beaver tail. It's got newer axles on it. One thing I don't like is it looks like when he redid the deck, he just cut everything, which you know, it is what it is. Looks like at one point there were some backup lights. Um, these look like they'd be pretty junky, kind of dim. So I got something else I want to put on. It's got a 12,000 pound jack, which is pretty good. Um, it looks like it had two junky ones here. Those got cut out. Then he put in a bar for a winch, but I got one. I got a different set. I want to straighten this out, you know, so it's flat. And then weld on a two inch receiver for my winch. That I use on that trailer and then here's the junction box pretty gross looking um, like I was saying all the wires are the same color nothing's labeled uh, and then there's this gross setup it's kind of funny too the pins that are on here it's just kind of like random crap the guy had like that's pretty cheesy here we are all painted up Looking nice, looking nice. Uh, got the lights removed. So here's just a look of rewiring the trailer. Uh, I didn't really film any of this, but this is the junction box before I cover it all up. Um, have everything labeled and all that stuff and tied in. Never really done this before, but all my outside connections here, they're heat shrinked uh, connectors, butt connectors. So pretty, I mean, kind of messy, but better than what it was. And uh, everything's organized, so if I have to troubleshoot in the future, I can. All I have to do now is tie in the brakes, that light back there, and then the brake controller, and it's good to go. So that's pretty much it. Just finished up welding these D-rings on and painting them up. Added a few more. Uh, gonna do stickers next. But yeah, had the generator set up and all that. So it's going pretty good. Kind of burnt the wood a little bit because it was close, but it's working. So here we are putting the first reflective stickers on. Uh, everything's starting to come together. Going to put them down the side here and on the ramps. Still got to paint the wheels. Here we are doing a little bit of uh, prettying up the wheels. Gonna paint them up and uh, should make the overall look of the trailer a little bit nicer. So not something I totally gotta do. They weren't really that bad. They were silver before, but uh, just after putting all the work into it, um, it'd be nice to kind of clean them up. So here we are just kind of taping it all off and getting ready. All right, all covered up. Time to uh, throw some primer and paint on. So, should be good. All right, so we finally got ourselves a nice day upon us. Sun is out, no clouds. This is amazing, I feel incredible. Uh, a little update on how the trailer's going. Everything's painted, the wheels are painted. Uh, those came out pretty cool. Uh, you can see there's kind of some dirt splashing from rain and stuff, but it came out nice. Um, and now what I'm going to do today is replace all four brakes and I think also the wheel bearings and stuff like that. Um, but besides that, the things that are left is put on my new reverse lights and wire them. Um, 
and then just the brakes and stuff and that's pretty much it and also just hang up some of this wiring i'm gonna do that to make that prettier and not get caught and stuff you know here i have new brakes electric brakes uh self-adjust too which is nice so i gotta figure out which side is the left side and which side is the right and we're gonna slam those on gloves and uh, some paper towels it's gonna be greasy Pretty cool. This part's flat on the back, so this slides on, holds it, prevents the nut from spinning. Oh. So now I'm gonna take off these five bolts on the back uh cut the wire for the brakes in the back of it and then pull this whole thing off put the new one on One thing to note is also make sure you're putting on the right side. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that piece of metal left hand, you know, left hand side of the trailer. Because uh, if you put it on backwards, I believe you'll have an issue. You know, if you put on the right side kit on the right and all that. But I mean, if you can't figure that out, you probably shouldn't be doing this anyway. So. Wow. <laughs> All right, I definitely can't put that back in, but I guess the right tool for the job makes it easy. That was cool. The old seal puller, right from AutoZone. All right, now I'm just matching up uh, the right stuff. Using the two new ones, we'll pack those quick and then slam them in. So one thing that's important when you do this is you just want to make sure you don't get any grease like on this surface because that's where the magnet is going to drag to push out the brakes um if you do you know it'll the it won't actually grab so keep that nice and dry you know when you're putting all this in it's gonna make a mess so just wipe it down good you know then we're gonna put our seal in and then press it in Nice, that worked pretty well. So I'm gonna put this old thing in. And now this. And now, I guess I literally just put it on. Like right, that took a lot longer than I thought it was gonna. Um, but that's just the process for one wheel, so I'm gonna do that for the rest of them now. All I have to do is hook up the wires in the back, and I should be good. Um, yeah, and then really the last thing you do when you do the brakes is you guys, you have to 
I believe it's called burnishing them where you know you drive around and then you slow yourself down with the brake controller from like 40 to 20 and do that a whole bunch just to get the glaze off the new uh, pads so once I'm all done I'll do that but uh, yeah I'm not filming the other three wheels just because it's pain in the butt but uh, that's it. it took a little bit longer than I thought probably about an hour for this first one it was the first time I done it or first time I've ever done this before so I uh, was just kind of muddling through it, but now I got a pretty good idea. So hammer these out and then get the brakes lined up. So I'm going to quickly go over the process of tightening these hubs uh, or the bearings actually. What I'm doing is I tighten it up with a big wrench like this um, until it's pretty tough to spin where it doesn't really free spin great. And then from there, you know, this kind of decides where it stops because it's got this thing here that slides like that it's going to lock the nut uh, from there i tighten it to seat everything and then i back it off and once you back it off it'll spin uh, more freely um, and then you kind of you put this on to stop it you know and it's going to be pretty much almost finger tight you know which is crazy to me but that's just how these are and then you're going to put your locking pin in and grease it just double check when you're done make sure you don't have any uh, play with the wheel back and forth. So that's it. We're all set here with the uh, brakes and wheel bearings. That was a success. All right, here's a cool little bonus I did too. I added uh, reverse lights on the trailer. I had these before. I never actually wired them up and turned them on, but they looked like junk. So uh, got these off Amazon and I don't know, seems like they probably should be pretty bright. So.